I was running late for work today because I was reading about what um, physics, quantum physics, and how the scientists are seeing time in a new way. Some of their discoveries are addressing the fact that we see time all wrong. And before you come at me with time is a human construct, blah, 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 that's not what this is about. I know all of that, um, but there are still cycles, there are still days and nights, and there are still seasons and all of that. But what they're talking about is that time as we understand it isn't like this spiral, uh, like linear thing, but it's more of it kind of like the past and present can collapse on itself. It was really interesting. Um, but it got me to thinking about how like paranormal stuff first and um, meditations and divinations next. And first with paranormal things, because I work somewhere that's been haunted. Um, we had a ghost. I channeled it and everything. And what I'm about to say, I'm not saying that I don't think that ghosts or energy being trapped in certain places isn't a legitimate thing. But I feel like we tend to be too absolute in our thinking. Like it's either this or that. But really it can be this and that and this and this also, you know. So as far as paranormal things, we hear like, let's say just we don't, it's not a huge office and it's not always busy. Sometimes we're all just standing quietly, like looking at something or working on something. There's no music, nothing is going on, but we'll hear people moving boxes. Like somebody's moving something really heavy or packing boxes up way in another room. And we have cameras and nothing's happening. We'll go back there. Nothing has fallen. Nothing has changed. And, um, and I don't, and I'm very good at sensing presence if there's something going on, whether it's residual or energy of something, whatever. But I don't feel anything. Um, sometimes I do, but this is different. And I literally will have the thought that is a timeline thing. Like a timeline is collapsing in on itself. Like we're hearing either the past or the present, something happening. Um simultaneously as our present moment, which brings me to if we're doing divination or meditation and we're talking to our higher self, which is in essence, our future self who can see things retrospectively. If we're in a panic state or we really don't like the answer we're getting, then we get to attach to our past self, our trauma self, you know, I don't know. It's just something to think about, right? 